AITA for explaining gay people to a five years old? I am not the original poster. That is you, loaf is loaf. He posted in R, am I the asshole? I added names instead of letters for easier readability. Trigger warning. Homophobia. Less than. Mood spoiler. Oop will be okay. Less than. Original post. April 5th. 2023. I. 24M. Have a sister Sarah. 28F. Who got recently married to a guy George. 33M. And George has a daughter Diana. 5F. Who our family treats like my sister's daughter. Some context. My sister was always supportive of my coming out and George is less supportive I think. For example my boyfriend wasn't invited for their marriage and the excuse was that his mother is very religious. Before me, my sister and my boyfriend used to have dinner together. After the marriage my sister never invited us together to her place. It's always in a restaurant and George doesn't go. My sister asked me if I would take care of Diana for this weekend so she and her husband George could take a weekend off to celebrate three years together. I changed some plans and told them that I would do it. Diana is a nice little girl. She's very talkative and she's really sensitive. On Saturday we went to the mall with my boyfriend. At the mall there was a workshop arts and crafts at the playground and I left Diana there for two hours so I could have some time with my BF. I asked my sister beforehand if that was okay and she said that Diana loves the workshops. When saying goodbye my boyfriend gave me a little goodbye kiss. Nothing much. Just a little kiss. I wasn't even sure if Diana saw it. Sunday morning I was watching TV with her and she asked me if my boyfriend was my friend and I said. Yes. But she asked why he kissed me and I had a little bit of gay panic. I carefully explained to her that he was the same that my sister was to his father. She told me, but you're boys, and I said, there are boys who likes boys and there are girls who like girls and that's okay. She didn't say anything after that. On Monday I got an angry text from George saying that Diana was confused because of me. I called him and he was just shouting that I had no right to introduce my way of life to his daughter. I was shocked and I called my sister, who said that I shouldn't have told Diana what gay people is. Tuesday in the afternoon I got an email from George saying that he was taking Diana to a psychologist to see what damage I caused to his daughter and that I was supposed to pay for the session. He was even talking about a lawsuit against me. I was very shocked and I called my dad, who is a lawyer, to ask him what I should do. My parents were very upset with the situation and they decided to come to our city. We, me and my sister, live in the capital and my parents in a small city three hours from here. The situation escalated a little bit because George told my dad that he wasn't going to make the same mistakes that he did with me and my dad was very angry about it. He said that George isn't welcomed in our family anymore and he doesn't want to ever see him again. My sister, who I thought was at my side, just flipped at me saying that my mistake was going to destroy her marriage. My parents are on my side and my friends too. But my sister is very angry at me and even her best friend texted me saying I was stupid and childish to bring my father to the matter. So Reddit. Am I the ah here? Relevant comments. More info on the arts and crafts workshop because people were concerned, wondered if sis was mad. About that. It was a two hours activity. There were monitors and they were doing some painting. It's like a workshop for kids. They did some arts and crafts. She had customized a teddy bear. It was really cute. What country is this? We live in Amsterdam, which is a very liberal city. But my bill is Italian. My sister told me once that his family is very traditional and they didn't accept well his remarriage. Oop is voted NTA. Update post. May 6, 2023. One month later. 
This is a little update on my original post and I want to thank everyone. Even the ones who were mean to me. Because it helped me to think about my next steps on this mess. The same week I wrote this post. My mom asked me to go to her house to talk and told me that she was talking with my sister about her and her husband actions. My mother asked me to try to conciliate with my sister because it was the best for both of us. I had mixed feelings about it and we decided to have a family lunch with me. My sister and my mom at my parents' place on the following Saturday. The outcome wasn't good at all. My sister was mean to me and said that I tried to play my parents against her and her husband. My mother was very upset of how my sister was acting and they had a fight. Things were worst after that with my mother saying she doesn't recognize my sister anymore. Things went really south because my father's birthday was 1504. It was his 60s celebration and we planned that for months. My father called my sister and said that she and her stepdaughter were invited. But her husband wasn't. She was upset and outraged and said that if her husband couldn't go, she wouldn't go either. And my father said, then don't come. A whole lot of drama. My sister sent me an angry email saying that from that moment on she didn't want any contact with me and that I don't need to expect forgiveness from her in the future when I am lonely because gay people ends lonely. She blocked me on social media and her contact with my parents is almost none at this point. If you didn't want gay people explained to your child, why are you leaving your child with a gay man? Exactly what the heck did the sister think was going to happen asking her gay brother to babysit her child? Like, if she and her husband wanted to live in a world without gay people like the homophobes they are and raise their daughter in their gay-free world why ask your gay brother to babysit? Op is in no way to blame for anything happening. And if I was him, I'd send that last email from the sister to the mother so maybe she'd stop trying to make him make nice with the homophobic sister. I love OOP's parents, especially the father. The then don't come was savage. I'm really a proponent of the idea that the things people wish on you in anger are generally the things they themselves fear the most. And I think that holds up with OOP's sister cursing him to not come to her whenever he ends up lonely. BC she is so terrified of loneliness that she has put all her eggs into the basket of one man. A man who despised family members for being gay but was still willing to use them for free childcare. A man who was willing to threaten those family members financially and legally for not following his childcare rules that were never explicitly stated. BC if he had explicitly shown his disdain for their relationship in advance they might not have given him free childcare. And for this man, who uses family for what they can do for him and threatens them based on his unclear rules. She was willing to cut off all her previously loving and supportive family relationships. Change her morals. Just to chase the companionship of someone who can abandon her too if she doesn't live up to his. Unreasonable. In spoken ideals. She's put herself into a hell of her own making. TBH. And I wonder if she'll ever have the clear-sightedness to see it. Well, my heart breaks for Diana. I struggle so much to understand why someone would marry a person whose beliefs hate irrationally. The very core of your sibling, family. I love how upset homophobes get when people reject them for their homophobia. Like, can't they just keep their lifestyle to themselves and not try to convert everyone for one day? The irony of getting super angry your partner not invited to a party. When the reason he was wasn't invited is cause he's an asshole and, amongst other things, refuse to invite someone else's partner to a different party is definitely not lost on me here. Bill threatens a lawsuit, then gets mad that that drags OP's parents into the fight. 
fragile little man. I explained gay, lesbian to my daughter when she was five. Told her the same thing Oop did. She hasn't brought it up since. But I'd like to think if she does end up being a lesbian she'll remember I was supportive and won't have issues coming out. Bill is a piece of garbage and his sister needs to wake up. Hmm. What will the five-year-old be more traumatized by? The harmless gay couple explanation in an already liberal area? Or her parents freaking out and fighting with themselves and family and isolating her from a larger support network? Well, at least he knows now exactly what kind of person his bill is and so will everyone else when they find out why the family cut his sister and her husband off. OMG. Perfect words for a five-year-old. Some boys like boys. Some girls like girls. Okay, I mean the kid will know all about this once they have any type of friends or go to school in Amsterdam. Hopefully the psychologist will sort out George. Sister is an idiot if she thinks marrying a homophobe in Amsterdam will work out well for her. Social schedule. When my kid was younger I explained how gay marriage works and he understood it immediately. Religion in the other hand, is such a weird thing when you are not raised into it. That even now I keep trying to explain concepts. Edit. I'm atheist raised Catholic. Kid was raised atheist but with an open concept of all religions but now wants to be Christian lol. I'm okay with it. I'm sorry. But George took Diana to a psychologist? I hope they laughed him right out of the office. Since Sarah knew what type of man she was marrying, I have to wonder if she secretly felt the same way but stayed friendly to OP's boyfriend just to keep the peace in her own inner circle. I mean, it blows my mind people still have issues with this. And how stupid do you have to be to leave your kid with a gay relative and then get mad at them for continuing to be gay? Really really stupid. This kid is gonna grow up damaged because of her father. This just sucks overall. Sister sucks. Maybe even more than George. I can't imagine choosing a homophobic pos over my siblings. Even her best friend texted me saying I was stupid and childish to bring my father to the matter. Guys, is it stupid to call your lawyer when you're being threatened with a lawsuit? I remember a story from a while ago that started similar. Siblings are the same clothes. And queerness isn't an issue. Then asshole hubby comes along and suddenly there's homophobia and sister is acting all shocked. Pikachu face that they're being called on it. In that case after several updates. It turned out that asshole hubby was also abusive. And was influencing the sister to mirror his beliefs. I wonder if something similar is happening here. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.